Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell is totally fabulous. I just completed it, and I am as of now looking for my second reading of it. The characters are complex and fascinating, the setting is charming, and the plot is finished in one volume. While the ending leaves space for additional stories based on characters, Kiem and Jainan are the two primary characters who are put together in an arranged marriage, to fight off the invasion forces. Kiem is a minor prince, who has so far figured out how to evade significant royal obligations. Great with people, he has advanced marginally from the pure partying of his understudy days, to a figurehead role opening charity fates and the like. He is stunned to be instruction by the emperor to wed Jainan, who was widowed just a month prior. Jainan is from a weaker and smaller planet, Thea, planet upset to pay duties to Kiem's more powerful planet, Ice Cat. Chi, was previously married to Tam, a highly respected prince from Kiem's planet, Ice Cat. With Tam dead, Ice Cat needs to marry another royal, to tie the planet Thea into its web once more. At the point when the story opens, Tam's demise is thought, to be an accident. I adore the connection among Kiem and Jainan. Kiem, so sociable. Jainan, so bound by a sense of duty. Thus uncertain of himself, gradually we discover exactly why this is. The two of them attempt to be considerate towards one another, and to make their enforced marriage work. What a profound joy there is, surprisingly make their show marriage into a genuine relationship. I appreciated the value of individuals reconciling and getting close. Winter's Orbit is positive, and cheerful. I thought Winter's Orbit would appeal no matter how you look at it, and there is another reason behind this. Everina Maxwell has envisioned a world where there is no hostility over individuals' gender, or the shade of their skin, besides. Everybody picks where to put themselves in the gender range, and they make this inclination clear by wearing a little ornament. Any individual wearing a piece of rock, for instance, is showing they might want to be viewed as female. Not in a showy or forceful manner. They may wear rock earrings, or a neck pendant, and there will be no need to make a mention of it. It appears that Winter's Orbit is Everina Maxwell's first book, and I find this great. Her writing is polished and seamless. I want to read more from this author, and soon, please. With everything taken into account, if you are searching for a romantic novel that basically happens in space, Winter's Orbit probably won't be for you. Then again, in case you're searching for a political science fiction with a smidge of romance and diverse characters, you'll probably like this novel.